Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as the Celts. In the previous episode, Shaka and Washington prepared a pretty nasty surprise for us when uh, Shaka or when Washington accepted voluntary vassalization from Shaka. So, and of course, Shaka right after they declared war on us. So now we are fighting basically on all fronts and I had to change our plans a little bit. Uh, first of all, we have some problems with happiness, but I wish I think we should be able to solve that take two more Mongolian cities then raise pretty much all the cities here replace them with our cities so that will for some time Help us when we remove the unhappiness from occupied cities. Also, we are working on two court houses uh, It should be finished soon. That's again that should remove quite a lot of unhappiness that's that, and I changed our uh, or the tags that we are working on. We are working on machinery, but instead I queued up compass into guilds and then back to the land uh, land units, uh, gunpowder, metallurgy, and then a rifling. We are about to get a great scientist in Edinburgh from the uh, Oxford University, and I'll use that scientist for the flat science that will speed up compass so that we can upgrade our triremes into caravels to protect our drummonds and right after that uh, we will get the upgrades for, for drummonds and I'm hoping with um, better ships we will be able to destroy Shaka's navy um, to the south maybe even Washington's navy and um, start taking their coastal cities it should make things much easier I'm also a bit afraid that uh, because of all the uh, promotions that all Zulu units have, uh, our triremes and the drummonds might have a really hard time defending, even though this is a really good spot for defense. It's Shaka, and uh, fighting Shaka is always a pain in the ass. So that's the plan. Get better ships and then we'll see. And on the other side, as I said, we want to take these two cities. And I also have to or need to know what's here. Because I want to get rid of old Sera and start a city on this tile. Then we connect the border along the coast. And I basically want to block all the tiles in this area. There will be some viable city locations. I don't want to cover all of these plains and grasslands with nothing. That would be just a, just a waste. Uh, we'll just have one city in the middle cover as much as possible. But there still will be some viable city locations. So I'll just try to connect the border around as soon as possible. So that we don't have to worry about settlers. And just ignore the rest of this land that really just doesn't give us anything important. But enough talking, let's um, start playing. Oh, another thing, I bought two more ships. We may need more than three. I think that Shaka has some navy. If you remember, at some point, they were sieging Arpinum and doing quite a lot of damage. And I'm pretty sure they were not sieging it with land units. So there has to be a Zulu navy somewhere. And who is doing damage here? And how did Rome get a city from Songhai. Well, they are fighting, so that's how they got the city. Yeah, that's the best thing they can do. Just fight each other, weaken each other, and then you will just get destroyed by Shaka. Okay, let's ignore that. We have to focus on our problems. It would be nice if uh, some other cities helped us with our problem, but we'll have to solve it without any help, it seems. Okay, I queued up some religious buildings, and I sent one pikeman after this missionary. He definitely doesn't have to be here. Good, now we can end the turn. Okay, upgrade. Upgrade. I think that uh, Washington will try something. Send a few units, so let's get ready for them. Oh, and uh, wait. How does it look like around here? Stay out of bombardment range. Move. Move. Uh, even closer. Next turn we'll start attacking the city. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. 
go. I think the biggest problem uh, right now will be that this war is going to slow us down a lot. I'll have to focus on micromanaging everything. Yeah, six gold per turn. Or everything. I will have to focus on micromanaging like three fronts. Fighting on the west, east and south. And uh, I have to make sure that I don't make, don't make any mistakes. Right now, we can still lose. We are fighting so many people on all sides that it's possible they could overrun our uh, defenses. And if they break through our lines at one place, it will already be a huge problem. Don't really have any reserves, so I have to make sure that I don't make mistakes. Okay, I think we are chasing Settler here. Yeah, there he is. But I don't think we can catch him. He'll just uh, disembark and start the city here. One, one turn too late. How does it look like here? Okay, let's go for Barrage. Can we kill the horseman? One and kill perfect. Next, I think we should get rid of the city. Fortify, fortify, done. I don't think that it's such a good idea to start working on this forest and work it somewhere else. Some forests here. Okay, let's, let's just improve those. Or so can fire. Oh, let's fire. Oh, there are some ships. I hope it's just Drummond's. Um, annex the city for now. Fortify. Scanted at medieval era. Zulia. And America now friends. Perfect. Zulus and Mongolia now friends. I don't know. It really looks like... If I knew that uh, this wasn't just like caused... By the AI hating us because of our warmongering. It really looks like all the states that we are fighting are intentionally uh, creating an alliance against us. But, but in the end, the effect is the same. Like, yeah, they are creating the alliance because, because they hate us. So it works. This is. Pretty good decision, right? Just create the lines all around us and uh, try to defend together. Shoni. Now look at that, everyone. All the free nations around our empire are now friends or have defensive packs or are fossilized. Kinda sucks that the most effective way of defense actually is the vassalization. Because that means when they go to war, they go to war together, even when they attack. A defensive pact only works that way when they defend. So it's possible to work around it a little bit. Oh well, it's well played by the AI. Okay. Who can work on research? Now let's start bombarding the city. What is this? Okay, it's Korean unit. That's another problem. Wait. Yeah. 
Okay, so they shouldn't be able to get to us across these two ocean tiles because as long as when there is a trireme here, it has enough movement to jump across the ocean, but as long as they don't see these sea tiles, they shouldn't be able to to like jump there. Um, what? Move a little bit and for now stay here. Missionary. Oh, we need missionary for Mosin Kami. Let's go there. General can wait. Move. Should be able to kill that spearman. Okay, wait, wait. Go. Right now, I don't know where. Or what to keep an eye on. Probably on Mongolia still. Oh, look at that. I'm not giving up. Kill something. And uh, I think the settler is retreating, surprisingly. Everyone declared war on us. Okay, well, let's get rid of this guy. Just in case, let's... Oh, he is here. That was a stupid move. Now, it's another kill. And... Uh... Oh, my God. This is a hill. Really? It looked like just planes. I thought that we'll be able to do some damage to the drama. Never mind attack and uh, many units still five more well, let's buy a trireme Another pikeman. Wait, wait. Start moving some siege units to Sia. Once we clear the area around, we can start attacking. Or maybe we can even start attacking from the south right now or the next turn. Cover. Work on the salt, and here is the great engineer. So we need what four thousand more or less, and we get four thousand. There is compass. Now it's time for some upgrade. Wait. I don't have that many triremes yet. I'll just play it safe. Give up some territory now, but with the caravels we should be able to take control over these towns quite easily, I think. 
how many more triremes? Three more triremes. One we bought on this turn, one that killed the settler, and the last one. Last one, I don't know actually. One. Where's the last trireme? What the hell? Oh, exploring. Here's the last trireme. Look at all the territory. Where's our scout? Let's send him there. Need to know if it's worth it settling all these locations. Get there. Go through Polish territory. Also like to explore here, but um, that would be too close to Yerevan. We are at war. We are at war with like half of the city states in the world, probably. Not sure if it's safe. But let's just control him manually and we should be able to get there. Go. Wait, wait, wait. Start healing. Let's check the trade again. That was what Rome. Salt. Or st <laughs> really. So oh, it's like 200 for each of my resources and 2700 for his citrus. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, Paris, I am. I don't have anything he wants. I'm thinking about just buying those whales. Yeah, let's do it. Need the happiness. This way. Men to Feligale. Na? You're a Gorbain. A little bit better. Just sell luxuries one by one. Don't have money. What about Korea? Doesn't have money. But no, it doesn't even have any resources or Okay, let's give Poland the copper. And uh, can we give something this guy? We can. Okay, we are done with trades. What about city state quests? I just noticed Florence. Not gonna happen. And the other one want us to build Oxford University. Should get that soon, like right now. They want poison to become major majority religion in their city, but where are they? And the other one That's the culture race and we are in the lead. Okay, but I really want to spread the religion to them. Where are they?
Never mind. Even if I tried to send a missionary there, and they already have religion, that would have to be Inquisitor and missionary, and they would just die trying to go through territory of what Rome, and there is Shaka, of course. So never mind. Look like you might get two allies, and uh, that's not happening. about this guy? Oh, the road. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Good. 375 food. It's so disappointing. It looked like it might not be that bad when we started like the first two cities that we flipped but um the later we are in the game the worse this is it probably should scale with era because when you get this i don't know in a classical era it's decent 400 food that early nice but 400 food right now how many turns was that three turns four turns something like that I wasn't paying attention, but it's nothing. Same with the Golden Age points. Really doesn't mean that much. Okay, next. Oh, they're attacking Warsaw. Or trying to attack Warsaw. That won't take or last that long. We just upgrade the Trireme. And, uh, and we should be able to kill the Drummonds quite easily. Golden Age? That's nice. And yeah, this is because we built Oxford. This is why we have the Golden Age. Uh, 1200 Golden Age points, plus the points for spreading our religion. Okay. Take a lot of damage. Wait. be better attack this guy first and kill him next turn we focus on the city a lot more I'll even send the fort trebuchet wait wait Wait. Can we kill guy? Oh, 
Oh, we want the city first, then we can maybe try to kill some units. Wait. Let's heal inside the city. You'll heal at least inside of friendly territory. Where is the Inquisitor? Sucks that I can't just click on the unit here and find him immediately. Oh, here, I can see him now. Going as fast as possible. Uh, Fortify. Surprisingly, Shaka didn't even try to move his ships. Let me quickly check where is Florence and what are we getting from them. They're getting culture, that's nice. And uh, where are they? Oh, in the middle of nowhere. That's not bad. They're not in danger of being overrun by America or Shaka. And they are on the island that I think I want to colonize. First, we want to explore it. There'll be probably barbarians everywhere. Go. No. I want his capital from this war and vassalize him. Oh, look at that. What a nice target for our caravel. Let's move all the pioneers to one spot. Then always we know where to go when we want the new pioneer. Let's liberate the city, but I think I no, actually fine. We can go this way. Village. And they're not defending Sia anymore. Good. Get some extra vision, maybe here. We are behind the river, so we should be safe. On a skirmish, it probably won't make any significant difference. Let's just. Get some extra vision.
Next turn, Sia should be ours. Wait, wait. So what's this? Just a normal mine? Oh, that should be fine. And I'll also remove the road of the connection. Oh, we don't have a connection. Wait. Or so is not connected. But we'll just use this road. Restart the city. Move there. Immediately, I think. And then we use this road. We are working on this one so that this road will connect Warsaw so we can remove the road here. And the Great General. Who did we get this time? Oh, I don't even know this guy. Let's move him to our capital in case Shaka tries to attack here, as unlikely as it is. But we don't need Great General immediately. So why not? They are stealing research. That's not the end of the world. With the amount of gold that we have in the treasury right now, that will be significantly worse. Wait, kill. Where is the Inquisitor? Come on. Wait, wait. Fortify, fortify. Uh, uh, Questioner is waiting for us to start the city. Here we have a pioneer. We can already add there three turns. Yeah, it's like a perfect timing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, next. Pretty sure I can win this duel. That was another mistake. Way too aggressive. Not so sure down here. And we discovered Vancouver. They are allied to Persium. Where is it? Maybe we found. No. I thought we found the other side of the world. But. It's probably just an island again. Definitely more territory in the sea than I expected. That might actually be a problem because I think Persia is in a perfect position to settle all these islands. So he might have some endgame potential and he went authority. So he won't suck. Another city. And I will first annex it. Now I have to decide when I want to start raising everything. Um, if I want to settle a city here, I have to get rid of Turfan. 
It's not that strong, so why not? How many cities do they still have? Four cities, and we want two. There won't be too much left from Mongolia, but... Don't have a choice. I can't just... Or don't want to keep all the Sarai where it is. This position sucks. Or I could just settle a city here. Still isn't that bad. Ignore Turfan. Go directly after Karakorum. That might be the best option. Oh, how the hell did the swordsman get the skirmisher? Well, some damage back. Before we start the attack on Busan, let's just repair. Especially the caravel needs repairs. Also, Busan has some um, an archer as a garrison, so it'll be taking some more damage. Fortify. Okay, this is a bad move. Kill that spearman. Yes, good. Wait. Fight in the city, fortify. Remove the religion finally. And flip the city. Good. And again, 375, that's nothing. Fast is the city growing. 29 turns. That kinda sucks. Let's buy the forest. It's pretty cheap. Or we can work this forest actually. No, that's better. check something. Are we working this tile? No, we are not. And we have more than enough tiles, so we can give the jungle this city and work it. Ever? Okay, so what's the problem now? We don't have units that would uh, kill partisans. That's the biggest problem right now. Can't start, ra start raising old Sarai yet. I could if I wanted to go for a city here. I think I can keep, what, these three units behind? Use all the skirmishers for the attack on Karakorum. They can easily clear all these units. And we can start raising new Sarai. Sia will join the new Sarai in one turn. And then in four turns, Otrar will join as well. Okay. Let's do that. Move. Move. 
we have one great general here so this one will help with the partisans wait start raising the city we sell some other buildings nothing here what about old sarai there we go we can sell library and in sia we can sell library arena it's quite a lot of money next and look at poland holy crap poland why did you get so many units Even with all these units, even if he declared war, like ask for, uh, ask us to cancel the vassalization, I would of course ref refuse. And if he then attacks, he still doesn't have enough to take any city. And here they are, spawn immediately. Well, I didn't expect them to show up so soon. At least they are in bombardment range. Wait. Okay, where do we go? Which way? Will be the first step maybe not could kill the spearman sure let's do that fortify for now we are done Twenty-one. Uh, can we work the mine? What's the difference? Four terrans. That's fine. I think I want more production. One more terran, then we can start. Wait. And a horseman. Um, let's move back. And I want uh, Shaka to move another unit on this tile. We can just keep killing them there. Wait. Okay. On the other side. Let's move the skirmishers first. There will be another kill. It should be fine. Okay, this guy has to heal a bit. Wait, wait. General can move. Eight. And um, I think we are done for this episode. Um, next time, uh, target will be Karakorum. Maybe if I find some units. 
like for example this pikeman or we can send this pikeman that will be faster and this one will replace the garrison in Wroclaw. uh we can start raising all serai because the long sword with the pikeman will be enough to kill any uh, partisans that spawn we can send the pioneer immediately start the city here that'll be fine go or actually don't go i wanted to end the episode here yeah, it's long enough Seven thousand. how far away are we from galasis five turns How much are the upgrades? Well, less than 500. It's pretty cheap. But I still have to keep saving money because the next... Uh, it's not next tech anymore, but uh, when we get the gunpowder, that'll be a huge investment. So I just have to hope that uh, no one steals our money. Oh, hello. America is coming. I still think that Shaka will just send uh, his whole army. He's probably organizing the attack. And uh, at some point he'll just try something. But we'll see all of this in the next episode. As I said, this time is, uh, or this one is over. So I hope that you liked it. I hope that you can join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.